That was a fabulous number, wasn't it? Bobby and Sissy at their best. You know, they made up their own routine with Bobby taking the lead. And it wasn't easy coming up with something new each week, believe me. That slide that Sissy did at the end of the number, perfect. And she didn't have the luxury of a dozen takes to get it right. The show was taped, but it was really live. One take and that was it. But you know, that's what gave the show that sense of fun and energy. Tough on the nerves, but worth it in the end. Well, I can hear the folks gathering now outside the Grand Palace here for the first show of the day. Sounds pretty exciting, huh? Live entertainment and tape performances are done here, too. In 1992, the Country Music Association gave the Grand Palace an award that honored excellence in acoustics, management, and accommodations for guests and entertainers. The previous year's winner was Nashville's Grand Ole Opry, where we did our tribute to Mr. Well, hosted by Barbara Mandrell. And I can tell you from experience, it's a wonderful place to work. Talk about wonderful things. The boss is about to introduce three good-looking redheads who fit that description to a T. This next song was first introduced by one of my all-time favorite singers, Ruth Etting. It was later sung by Judy Garland in one of her many movies. So this is a sort of double salute, and we hear from Sandy, Gail, and Mary Lou. Get happy, you better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. 